head. They're both knockouts. I wish I had the nerve to go talk to him. Talk to him? Yeah, that's easy. Sure it is, Romeo. Even with a few drinks in me, I still get tongue-tied. Besides, women these days know that we're only talking to them, hoping for one thing. So? So they're turned off by it. We're all just horn dogs, as far as they're concerned. Hell, you're probably right. Look at that brunette. She's beautiful. So go talk to her. Hey, you go talk to her. All right. I'll go talk to the blonde. And you're right. It is obvious what we want. But I've learned to use the obvious to my advantage. Watch and learn. <laughs> Hi. I'm Ted. Now, before I go any further, I'm going to freely admit that my first few remarks to you will smack of cliché. My directness, simply laying my cards out on the table and asking for nothing more than a night of sex with you, represents an approach that has become an archaic passé method over the past couple of decades. But history has shown that visionaries, heroes like Henry Ford, Charles Lindbergh, were direct men who acted directly. Without Ford's directness, we would have no Detroit. By God, we would have no General Motors. And Charles Lindbergh, he was a hell of a direct guy. That direct son of a gun went directly from New York to Paris. Sure, they were both vicious anti-Semites. But you can't dwell on the petty quirks of visionaries, can you? No. What I'm getting at here, the subtext of my argument, if you will, is this. I just want to be real. And I want to be real with you. Really, really real. Sex feels good. Really good. <laughs> really real. And really good. If done properly when I'm naked with you, also naked, by the way, and we put certain parts of our anatomy on or in, or around certain other parts of our anatomy, well, simply put, it's pretty darn fantastic. It's what being American is all about. Our doing that tonight is what men like Lindbergh and Ford were thinking about way back in yesteryear. Now, I lay my honesty out toward you like a well-worn quilt. I don't want to marry you. I don't love you. Heck, I don't even want to talk to you anymore. That's when that's necessary. I just want to have sex with you. Possibly more than once. God bless you, and God bless America. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, what he said. Really, really worked. I hope he's drunk. Really, really drunk. <laughs>